Hey, it's your girl Chrissy from Events by Chrissy, and this is our very first episode, uh, hopefully of many more, of our series, Ask Me Anything, where you get to ask me all of your event planning questions, whether it is a wedding, a birthday, a bar mitzvah, bat mitzvah, baby shower, you name it, we are here to help you. So today on our very first episode, we are going to be discussing staying on a budget. As you can see here, we get so many questions about money. I can't afford to hire a wedding planner. How can I do it and stay on budget myself and track everything? What are great apps that we could use to track? Uh, Is my honeymoon part of my budget? Is my dress part of my budget? My parents are buying flowers. Do we include that? So many things. Bridesmaid gifts, party favors, all of those things, they are definitely part of the budget. The honeymoon is the only thing where we say, "Mm, maybe, maybe not. But let's get into it. According to the knot.com, The average wedding cost in North America is $30,000 US dollars, and it is very possible to spend much less than that. And here is how you're going to do it. First, you are going to create a realistic budget for you and your partner. This could be for your wedding, uh, your birthday, whatever event that you're hosting. Make sure that your budget is realistic. So if you are having a budget of $5,000, Make sure you stick to it. First thing you are going to do once you decide on your budget is work on the breakdown. We are going to put up a quick breakdown for you. I cannot stress this enough. Keep track of all your spending if you want to stay on budget. Here we have a quick breakdown of the budget. Our biggest expense being your reception venue. If you are lucky enough, you can have your reception and ceremony in the same place. So that will be anywhere between 30 to 45% of your budget. If you're able to locate it in one or separately, you're going to do 35% for the reception venue, 10% for your ceremony. Next up, we have your dress or attire that's going to include your groom suit, your groomsmen and bridesmaids if you are lucky enough to be able to pay for those things. Uh, if your bridal party are paying for their own gowns, then that 9% is just for you and your partner. Um, 8% to 10% for most event planners, depending on how long you are using them for. You may have to pay a bit more. Uh, A day of coordinator will start you at about $1,500. So be very mindful of that if your budget is on the lower end. Florals and decor will run you anywhere between 8 to 15% of your budget. Separately, we have 8% and 5%. That way, if you are doing your bridal parties, flowers, your floral arrangements, You can separate that from the actual decor of your wedding, which will be your centerpieces, aisle runners, ceremony, or backdrop spaces. We then have 5% for transportation. That is if you are not having your ceremony and reception in the same location, you'll be able to transport yourselves from one location to the next all together and not separately, which can be a huge disaster depending on routes that are being taken. Next up, we have photography and videography. Uh, Videography is sometimes optional for parties because it is an additional expense. On its own, you can spend about $2,000 for a photographer um, and a second shooter for the day, but it will be closer to $5,000 if you include both photography and videography. Although we do have some couples say that they really do wish that they had video recordings of their first dance or them coming down the aisle. They felt like pictures were not enough. So um, that is gonna be something you're gonna have to keep in mind if you do not want to have a videographer and just a photographer. Otherwise, get your friends to take videos and pictures. Just make sure they have a steady hand. 
Next up is our contingency plan. That is for anyone that is choosing to have a wedding outside. Um, if it's raining, you know, winds are high, things of that nature, you want to make sure you've got a backup plan for your guest uh, in those situations. 3% on DJ and entertainment. So sometimes we have those that don't just want to DJ at the reception, but they want belly dancers, fire dancers. You want a pianist or a cello playing at your ceremony that is going to run you up some coin. So make sure you are mindful and allocate about 3% of your budget to that. Everything else is 1% to 2%. That is your stationery, your cake, officiant, licenses will be your marriage license, liquor license, music permit, anything of that nature, um, your party favors, and your rehearsal dinner or your rehearsal ceremony run through. Um, those are all things that you need to keep in mind of when you are planning your event. This video is getting kind of long and I don't want to bore you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into each one separately on another video and we can further dive into all of these wonderful, wonderful topics. If you have any questions, comments, you know where to drop them down in the comment section. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and we hope to see you soon. Bye.